Hello, you welcome to another edition of Papa the Chef Kitchen. Today on our menu, we are going to do Afrotinenta pumpkin soup. The Afrotinenta pumpkin soup is basically um, soup for vegetarians. This is a very healthy um, soup that you can use to eat rice or mashed potatoes or cooked potatoes so this is a good news for vegetarians and let me quickly show you where you can watch this video when you go to youtube it's papa the chef subscribe to our youtube channel so that anytime we post new videos you get the notification and you will be the first person to come and watch what we have for you guys and when you go on facebook you search for papa the chef so quickly let me take you through the recipe or the ingredients first we have our pumpkin here we also have our onions we have our carrot garlic we have pepper we have ginger we have our salt and we have our, our oil but before i continue let me give you some of the health tips about the pumpkin or in netherlands we call it pum pum it's really highly in vitamins just to boost your immune system so now that we are in the COVID-19 season the coronavirus season if you need a healthy food that can boost your immune system to fight against this virus then I recommend pumpkin for you because in this pumpkin you get the vitamin A, the vitamin B2, vitamin E and you also get vitamin C we have potassium in the pumpkin, we have iron, we also have carbohydrates and we also have um, protein in this pumpkin so that is really a very good tip for you. So quickly, let me show you how we go about it. You're still watching Papa the Chef Kitchen. And today, as I've already told you, uh, we are doing Africanenta pumpkin soup for vegetarians. And I showed you my pumpkin and my onions and everything. Now, everything is clean and washed. I have my pumpkin cut in cubes and I also have my carrots. I have my onions. I have my pepper. That is Madame Jeanette. I also have my garlic and my ginger. So everything is in the saucepan. And I've also put in my oil. Someone will ask you, why are you making soup and you have oil? Yes, with this vegetarian, I need oil. That is olive oil to make it really smooth because we are going to use this to eat rice yes you can use this to eat rice you can also eat it alone without adding up any food to it just the soup then you can just take it and um, this is mainly for vegetarians and i told you that pumpkin has a lot of nutrients in it at the beginning of the program i told you a lot about the um, the vitamins that will help boost your immune system in this um, covid 19 era and now i'm going to the second part of it it contains compounds that promote healthy skin yes it promotes healthy skin with the pumpkin and also as you know carrot also promotes healthy skin so with this one it is highly in beta carotene beta carotene which um acts as a natural um sun block so with this one if you have this you boost your immune system and also it helps your skin it gives you healthy skin so there's no need for you to go and buy any sun block if you take this you have this um, chemical in it that protects your your skin against the sun block um, against the sun so please take note of that we are going to put this on fire for a few minutes then we add up our water to it this is africanenta pumpkin soup for vegetarians that vegetarian pumpkin soup so i put a bit of um salt to taste then fry my vegetables or the pumpkin for a while the other day someone was was asking me where is your 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 napkin i have my napkin here <laughs> well i'm used to it as a chef i'm not scared of um naming my fingers so i prefer putting my hand or holding the saucepan like that so you fry your pumpkin your carrots and also your onions and ginger garlic pepper you fry them for about let's say six minutes this is our pumpkin together with our onions our carrots our garlic our pepper and our ginger i have pre-fried it for six minutes and now i'm going to put water to boil it after it has been cooked 
then I will blend it for you to see. This is Africanental pumpkin soup for vegetarians. And I pre fried the vegetables for six minutes and now I'm putting my water in. It all depends on how you want it. Some want it to be thick, some also want it to be light. For me, I'm going to use it to eat rice. So I want it to be a bit thick so that I can eat it with the rice. If you are going to eat it with fufu as you are from Africa or you are from Ghana, then you can also make it light. If you're a vegetarian and you're going to eat it, you make it light. It all depends on how you want it. That is, making it light or making it thick. So I put just one cup of water. So I stir for the water to be everywhere. And I will leave it on fire. Then you cover it. I want the pumpkin to really cook and become soft. Because after cooking it, I'm going to blend it to get the puree. So I leave it on fire for it to cook really good. Yeah, I left my pumpkin on fire for about 10 to 12 minutes and I'm going to check it to see if it's really soft then I can blend it so my pumpkin is really soft so I'm going to blend it now I'm going to put it in blender and blend it this is my blended boom boom together with carrots onions garlic and ginger it really looks nice and it's healthy very very healthy and in our next video I'm going to make pumpkin soup for non vegetarians I'm going to use this to eat rice so I want it to be a bit thicker so viewers our pumpkin soup is ready hmm I just tasted it it tastes really nice Ooh, wow so this is our pumpkin vegetarian soup yeah 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 you can go to youtube it's papa the chef subscribe to our youtube channel click on the bell so that anytime you put new videos there you get the notification and you'll be the first person to come and watch it you can also go to facebook it's papa the chef i'm going to dish out my soup and my rice I know everyone knows how to cook rice. So my rice is ready and I'm going to use my pumpkin vegetarian soup for my rice today. Hello people. Now our pum pum soup with our rice is ready. This is strictly vegetarian and is really healthy in this coronavirus time. And we have our rice served with our pumpkin soup. For me, I prefer it Take because I'm going to use it to eat rice and those from Africa you can substitute this for palm nut soup because it tastes like palm nut soup and it looks like palm nut soup don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel that is Papa the Chef then you click on the bell there anytime you post new videos you will get the notification then you come and watch us you can also go to Facebook and send me a friend request on Papa the Chef page then I will be glad to accept your request. Until then, I will see you in our next episode where we also learn how to make pumpkin soup for non-vegetarians. See ya. Lekker.